There are certain pieces on the Hermes website and even in the Hermes boutiques that I look at and I'm just like, why would anybody buy that? Hi guys and welcome back or welcome if you are new around here. My name is May, also known as Mrs. Leva. And on this channel, we definitely talk way too much about handbags. Normally I tend to do review videos, a little bit of unboxing, sort of comparisons as well. But today I wanted to dive into another spectrum of handbags and that is sort of roasting a specific brand. Now, as for the title of the video, you know that we're gonna be diving into Hermes. I recently just started my Hermes journey and wanted to see what it is that it really takes in order to get offered or be able to purchase an Hermes Birkin or Kelly which are my holy grail bags at the moment so all of those videos will be linked down below in order for you guys to check out if you're interested in however I have done a few wish lists and sort of shared with you guys here and there pieces that I know I want to really purchase and add into my collection with that being said there are certain pieces on the Hermes website and even in the Hermes boutiques that I look at and I'm just like why would anybody buy that so we are going to be doing a sort of roasting video kind of sharing with you guys some pieces that I know for sure I will definitely never add into my collection here I am saying that and then I'll probably do an unboxing with one of these pieces and you're gonna want to stay tuned till after I share the ones that I won't add because as I was browsing the website for this particular video I ran into some pieces that I literally would have to sell both of my kidneys for in order to afford so without further ado let's jump into the first one and I feel like a lot of people are gonna disagree with me on this one but this video is in all good fun take it with a grain of salt I'm making this video just to get a good laugh out of it so the first pieces are actually gonna be sort of a two in one and that is the Calvi and the Bastia. Please somebody explain to me what exactly is the purpose of these two pieces and I'm sorry because I know so many of you like them and don't get me wrong the colors that they release these pieces in are absolutely stunning. Hermes is one of those fashion houses that I really believe does colors so beautifully but you guys these pieces just don't make sense to me. Now let's start off with the Bastia. I just think this piece is so impractical I know it's meant to carry for the most part coins but I feel like every time I see somebody sharing what it is that they have inside of it you kind of have to tilt the coin holder over and then they fall into the other little pocket that the piece has but I just find it so weird in order to pick out the coins that you need like at the end of the day I feel like you're still gonna have to spill over all the coins into the table and then pick out what it is that you need from the coins in particular I hope that makes sense and then I have also seen people use these to hold their like earphones mm. I just don't see it. It's kind of like spending $500, $600 in those little AirPod cases. <laughs> I'm sure a ton of you out here have put your money towards a Bastia or towards one of those little AirPod cases and here I am just talking a bunch of crap about them. But again, I just feel like the Bastia is one of those that just really doesn't click for me. It just doesn't make sense. And then let's dive into the Calvi, another one that I feel as a card holder is just very impractical as well. You have all your cards put in just one slot. At the end of the day, you're gonna have to take out all your cards to see which one is the one that you're gonna use. And don't get me wrong, it holds a ton of cards. So in a way, it's great maybe as a business card holder where you know that every single card looks the same. But if you really wanna use this as a full-on wallet and you do use various cards throughout the day, I just feel like this piece just really doesn't make sense. The only real purpose or real use that I I see behind these two pieces are sort of like if you want to get a feel for Hermes leather I think that these are super well made and they definitely show that craftsmanship from the fashion house in them all right let's jump into a handbag that for sure for sure I know will never make it into my handbag collection and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Cassie Thorpe she is very well known in the luxury community and I sort of got this idea from her she was sharing sort of pieces that she just didn't really understand 
understand from the fashion house or just wouldn't purchase herself and I thought wow what a great idea to be able to share my thoughts on there are so many designer fashion houses out there that we all love and we can see ourselves adding certain pieces from however some of these fashion houses just really get out of control from time to time so back to the Hermes handbag that I would not add into my collection and that is the Evelyn in the largest size. Hermes is an equestrian brand and they get a lot of inspiration by this in order to create some of their pieces. The Evelyn in the smaller size is definitely growing on me little by little, even though I wish it did come with a leather strap rather than the canvas strap. However, the Evelyn in the larger size, I definitely don't love so much. For me in particular and my body frame, I just feel like I'm sort of carrying a book bag as a crossbody option. I just think the size is very large and very cumbersome. I also am not a huge fan of the north-south layout on handbags. I feel like it's very uncomfortable for you to put your things in. The fact that it's also so long makes me feel like I'm gonna have to dig in so deep in order to grab my things and actually use them. It is also a very slim type of handbag. So for that matter, I think that once I pack it, my things will just be laying on top of each other. So definitely this is one of those that I don't see myself adding into my collection. I don't feel like it's a cute handbag to incorporate in my personal style. And I also don't see it as a comfortable handbag to carry just in general. Now diving into another piece that I know a few of you will definitely disagree with me. And those are the Hermes Oran sandals. Sandals. Guys, there is no way that I can make these sandals work. Now, don't get me wrong, this is one of those that I actually think they're super cute and very chic, but they just don't work for me. So I'm definitely not gonna be adding them into my collection. I've gone into the boutique various times now. I think I've tried them on a total of three times and every single time I keep telling myself, May, why are you trying to make these sandals work? The main thing that just doesn't do it for me is the fact that I feel like the H is very low on my foot. So pretend these are my toes and then I just feel like the H lays here while any other type of slide sandal that I have the slide or the strap of the sandal will actually just lay right here and show a little bit of my toes but it doesn't lay so back where I feel like my toes are just kind of dangling outside of the shoe. I wish I would have captured a clip last time that I tried them on while I was in the boutique but I totally forgot to do so. I just really don't like that look on me in particular. I have also heard horror stories of breaking these sandals in. And if you have been watching my channel for a little bit, you know me and shoes have a love-hate relationship. I'm one of those that if I find a pair and they work for me, I just wanna add them in any color. And here we have the perfect example. So these are the Hermes Oasis sandals. When I saw that the Orans just didn't look good on my feet, I ended up asking my SA to bring out these instead. I love these sandals, you guys. I can't get enough. I'm hoping that they release these in as many colors as they have the Orans because I promise my whole closet will be filled with these sandals. So unfortunately, the Orans will just be one of those that I don't see will see the light of day in my closet. Let's head on over to a small leather good and that is the Constance belt buckle. And I've shared this before, but I am trying to get away from certain logo on specific pieces just because because I feel that then it makes it very difficult for me to pair those pieces with other pieces in my wardrobe. For example, I have my Gucci Marmont belt, which I still love and I still wear. However, whenever I wear that belt, I know that I have to choose a handbag that has no logos. At least for me in particular, that's how I feel most comfortable wearing those type of pieces. And then I feel like the Constance H buckle is just too loud. It could possibly be just as redundant as the Gucci Marmont at this point, but I just don't want to keep adding more of those logo type pieces into my wardrobe when I know already that I struggle so much pairing the one that I have. Now, I want to point out that some of these pieces most of you love and adore, so I hope we can still be friends after this video. Now, getting into the fifth piece, and this is a 50-50 for me, and those are the Hermes throw pillows. I personally am just not a home decor kind of gal. I've always said it and whenever I talk with some of you whether it's on Instagram or here on YouTube we all have our things. 
Some of us like to spend money on cars, some of us like to spend money on watches, some of us like to spend money in our homes. Now the home decor is definitely not one that falls into my list. So for that reason, I feel like these would just be a total waste of money for me. I also feel like the H on these particular pieces are just a little bit too loud. They do serve a purpose and I feel like if you do decorate them and place them correctly within the aesthetics of your home, they could definitely work out. However, for me in particular, I just want to have a nice throw pillow on my couch that I can literally just throw myself on at the end of the day, fluff it up, put it in the back of my head, even take a nap in there. If I spill something, I don't want to have to be worrying about having to take a throw pillow cover to the dry cleaners in order to get cleaned. Now, I do say that it can be a 50-50 because I definitely can potentially see myself getting one as a decor for this particular room. I'm still working on certain pieces that I want to add here just to to make it more complete and a side chair or an accent chair with a throw pillow or maybe one of those beautiful Hermes blankets can potentially work so this is basically the only piece in this list that you might potentially see an unboxing for in the future all right now let's get into some rapid fire ones and these are gonna be certain pieces that I'm just gonna point out with little to no explanation Let's start off with the Hermes pop-up lipstick case for a whopping $2,100. Now, I know that Hermes prides themselves in their leathers, but you guys, $2,100? No, no. That's just a plain, simple no for me. Let's leave it at that. And just when I thought $2,100 for a lipstick case was extremely expensive, we have a chromatic paper basket for $7,750. I personally paid $9 for my trash can in my office and I find that expensive. And for that matter, you know what? Let's add anything wicker in this list. I honestly don't understand why anything wicker that comes from Hermes is so so astronomically priced. Not only do you have to sell your two kidneys, but you're probably gonna have to sell your families as well. And then last but not least, we have a beautiful paperweight for $5,150. And as I'm saying that, I'm actually thinking the last time that I saw somebody use a paperweight and I honestly can't remember. Also, I wanted to point out it's five grand because it's in a Berenia leather, which I know it's one of Hermes heritage leather. And again, we go back to Hermes and their pride for their leather pieces, but then they have the same paper weight in wood and in some beautiful colors for about $500. So is it really worth an extra $4,500 for a leather piece? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm totally obsessed with the leather pieces that I've added from Hermes, but a paper weight for five grand? I can't. All right, guys, so that does it for this video. I hope you got a good laugh out of it. I definitely feel that if you are on the Hermes Birkin or Kelly journey, if you are willing to spend seven grand on a trash can, then you'll definitely be in the front of the line in order to get offered one of those two pieces. Let me know what other outrageously priced piece you have seen from Hermes. I mean, I would love for you guys to share your thoughts with me in the comment section down below. Personally, as I mentioned in my first Hermes journey video that I put out. I will be buying pieces that I enjoy. Maybe some of them will be ridiculously priced, but if I really like them, then I personally will find a way to incorporate them, whether it's in my life or in my style. I have mentioned that I think the silliest thing that I probably will end up getting is a mug. I was gifted one for my birthday, so that one doesn't count, but I go on their website and I see so many beautiful designs that they do have in their other mugs that I definitely am tempted to add one or two more. As always, I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to watch today. I know that this one was a little bit out of the norm, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone. Yeah.